whenever magnetic lines of force passing through a closed circuit changes a current is induced in it this phenomenon was discovered by michael faraday in 1831 to demonstrate this phenomenon we take a closed coil and connect it to a galvanometer then we take a strong bar magnet and keep the north pole in front of the coil when the coil is moved towards the magnet the needle of the galvanometer deflects towards the right when the coil is moved away the galvanometer needle is deflected towards the left the direction of current is given by fleming's right hand rule this rule is like this stretch the thumb forefinger and central finger of the right hand mutually perpendicular to each other if the forefinger points in the direction of the magnetic field thumb in the direction of motion of the conductor then the central finger points in the direction of the current induced in the conductor there is a horseshoe magnet with concave poles there is a rectangular armature coil placed over here the axis of rotation of the coil is perpendicular with the direction of the magnetic field a split ring commutator is attached to the ends of the coil like this one half of the coil and the connected split ring has been given the red color and the other half blue color this has been done in order to make this animation more apparent to the students watching the animation two graphite rods called brushes are kept in contact with the split ring commutator the brushes are fixed and are connected to the external circuit suppose the coil is rotated anti clockwise by the help of an engine at this position the red part of the coil moves up and the blue part of the coil moves down applying fleming's right hand rule to the red part of the conductor we get the direction of the induced current like this in this direction applying fleming's right hand rule to the blue part of the conductor we get the direction of current in the blue part like this thus the direction of the current in the external circuit is like this this particular direction remain the same as long as the red part is moving up and the blue part is moving down now when the coil crosses this vertical position the blue part of the split ring touches this brush and the red part of the split ring touches this brush this is actually just the opposite of what was happening in the previous half cycle now the blue part moves up and the red part moves down applying fleming's right hand rule to these parts we get the direction of current like this what we see here we see that the direction of current in the external circuit remain the same for this half cycle also this is the working principle of a dc generator